Welcome back folks to Fishing Planet. I'm Super Dave and I'm going to help you guys with how to spend your bait coins wisely. Uh, just for reference, I've been playing this game for five years now between PC and PS4 and completed all the missions, um, you know, outside of these ones. These are just repeatable events that will come down here soon. Um, and you can see here. So I do have some knowledge of the game, obviously, of what to what I needed them for as they ranked up and after I fully ranked up. Um, now I want to make this very clear. This is my opinion. This is to help you out and guide you. This isn't going to be to tell you to play how to play the game. If you feel like something might be more helpful to you, go ahead and do it because that's just the way it is. The first thing, though, I want to start out with, guys, is very quickly just briefly touch on it because I want this to be a short video is how not to spend them so one thing I would not be doing for sure without a doubt is doing it spending them on basic licenses these are a complete waste of time and 1100 at Bolivia to not catch any trophies or unique is ridiculous all right I don't think much needs to be said there, but you should never buy a basic license. Another one I wouldn't be buying right away is home storage. And the reason for that is uh, because you're not going to know how much you're going to need early game. Uh, that's one thing. And one thing I see a lot of people buying is uh, rods and reels. And a lot of times... For example, let's go to this jig winner here. Now, I have this, and, and I bought this very early on when there was a DLC pack for it. But if you look right here, you'll see that this is 75 bait coins, whereas you go to um, right here, and you can buy it with cash later on the road with a couple more levels. So don't buy rods and reels in this store here with bait coins almost everyone that i know of you can actually buy later on like the jig winner 810 which is one of the best pulls in the game but you can buy it later on folks uh another thing i would definitely not buy is uh with bait coins and i did a whole video on this guys i'll try to remember to leave it in the description is these sunglasses <laughs> Uh, I'll leave the video in the description, but these are pretty much just a waste of your bait coins, folks. And the number one thing that I see people waste bait coins on that you should really not is advancing time. Uh, there is no reason to advance time <laughs> early with bait coins. If you have to, just sit a minute and that'll help you out. And just do it without wasting your bait coins. Because if, if you don't buy DLCs, it's really going to hurt you. And this, if you don't buy DLCs, I feel like this guide is going to help you out quite a bit, folks. Uh, rod templates. Normally, you have quite a bit. And you don't want to... I personally don't buy any of these. I, as I just do, for example, I have... Uh, five of these spell launchers and I just equip them off of one template and I don't actually you know use a bait or a hook on the template I will adjust that when I get to the lake so I can have five different pulls off that one template you'll save templates that way the other one is recipes if you're a person that uses a ton, ton of charm recipes as you can see I am not one of them people <laughs> uh, you you could buy these as you need them but as you can see they are 10 bait coins per slot so i would use them wisely another mention that i want is if home storage and you can buy if you look on the bottom right you can see home storage now i have a ton of that and if you can see it to expand it here <clears throat> is not cheap but to be honest with you if you need home storage you're going to need it um and another one, uh, this one might not be popular, but I'm going to explain why. 
is licenses. Uh, advanced licenses or basic. And the reason for it is, is if you're new, you're not going to know what lake to go to. Now, some of these are going to be uh, cheaper, so it's not as bad like, you know, the advanced Texas license will save you from buying a Texas license. But you get later on down here, and these get super expensive guys like Bolivia, which I do have. And I want to make this very clear. When you look at my map, I have almost all these <laughs> the advanced licenses. I even have Marin River. There's some I don't have, like Maku Lake and I think Blue Crab in Alaska and maybe Weeping Willows. But if I had went back in time, so a lot of these I want to bought. Now, there is an exception to this, and that's if you plan on doing a lot of comps, guys. Comps are going to be, you know, it's going to cut your cost comps down of having to get a license every time you go there. But if you're not a big-time comp player, there's not really a need to do these because all of these, for example, let's go to Weeping Willows. This is a really good example. I don't have the license, but the advanced license is 1700 In the one-day passer, which is real-time, is 8000 and if you know that lake, that's only two, three fish uh, to pay for that license. It doesn't take long to pay for that license. And it can be a waste to spend 1,700 bait coins or something where you can just go there and, uh, you know, buy it with in-game cash. Especially if it's a place you don't go to very often. I'm going to start out with what to spend them on. And at number five, we have, uh, we'll have to go in here and find one, uh, but it is, I know there is, here, we'll just go here, because I know there is some at the very end here, we'll go all the way to the end, but there are some only lures that you can only get uh, with bait coins, and offhand, I can think of a few examples, like uh, here, these deep runners. Uh, now, make sure when you're doing this that they are things you're going to actually use. But, for example, I don't really use these things very much. But these are things you can only get with bait coins. Uh, so if there is things that you want, there is only lures that you can get with bait coins. And keep that in mind. For example, uh, there are barbless ones as well, which I'll get into in a little bit here. Uh, but uh, one thing, though, when you're doing this is make sure there isn't something that you can't get with money. For example, uh, like the what I explained early with the rod and reel, make sure there isn't one down level which has where you can buy it with normal cash, guys. Just check to make sure before you do buy one with uh lure you know buy one of the lures with bait coins when you could probably buy it with money now the next one i want to get into at number four is barbless lures and there is a lot of really good barbless lures in the game and they're particularly cheap like this barbless narrow spoon i use all the time it never comes out of my backpack it's good for so many places whether it's emerald rocky lake uh, even tiber river uh, but anyway, at any rate, there's a lot of good barbless lures in the game. And if we can, I think you can actually select, give me a second here. I want to do the barbless, just so you can see some of this barbless equipment and lures here that will really help you out. And some of these are very good, uh, like this one is actually very good for a lot of places as well. And uh, there is some turn comps that are only required barbless guys. Okay, folks, at number three is probably, would make an argument, maybe my personal favorite on the list. If you go over to services in the home storage, or at the home store, and that is marker buoys. <laughs> and the reason for that is uh, you can mark any of your fish locations with these on any you know on the lakes with them and it's good to have a ton of these actually i believe now uh i yeah i can't actually even buy anymore because i have mine maxed out at 1500 
And these were money well spent. Now, I wouldn't say go get 1,500 of them right away, <laughs> as that's the current limit of Marky Brewies you can have. But be sure to buy them when you do need them. And, uh, now, if you have the greatest memory in the world and you remember every time where you catch fish, then you probably don't need them. But for the rest of us non-superhumans, these are going to be very critically handy. And, guys, I want to mention... Uh, at number two here, a really important thing to do with these is uh, barbless hooks. And the reason for this is, as you can see, I have a lot of these. And in a second, I'll show you my bag. But there are uh, these give you bonus XP, guys. 20%, in fact. It'll give you 20% more XP. And you don't have to buy all of them, but they are really cheap. And I recommend, you know, buying the ones you need. Now, I'll show you my backpack quick to show you what ones I always have with me. And these are the 1, the 10 out, the 2, the 4, 6, 6 out, 8, 8 out, and the 4 out. Now, I have an X Series 1, but I did was using the Star 1 until then. The number one thing, guys, with bait coins is I would save them. And the reason for that is, is you don't know what you're going to need a lot of times at that moment. So just hoard them. And that sounds really crazy, but you're not going to know if you're going to need more home storage till you run out. And when you do run out, you're not going to have any if you just spend them all. Same thing with templates. You're not going to know you're going to need some unless you run out. And you, you're going to want to have make sure you have some. I always recommend having like two or 300 bait coins at any given time. And the reason for that is, is in case something like the sunglasses come out and you want to try them. Uh, but I would definitely save them, guys. Uh, definitely, that would be my number one thing I would do with them. As I, as I learned this game, wasted a ton of them like a lot of other people. So, uh, hopefully I made this guide as short as it could be. But there was a lot of information for you folks in here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let me know down in the comments what you like to spend your bait coins on. And we'll see you next time, folks.